News. Chantel's in Sanford has been a staple in the downtown area for almost a decade, known for its comfort food. <laughs> but owner Chantel Williams is also known for her Harley. Yeah, she certainly is, Greg. In fact, she even toured around the country on it for a Netflix documentary. But the pandemic has forced her to choose her business over her bike. Channel 9 Seminole County reporter Jeff Love Coolidge is live in Sanford. We all know her. We all love her. Jeff, she plans to raffle that bike off to save her business. It's so sad. It really is, Martha, and she told me that she needs to raise at least $100,000 from the raffle of her Harley to do just that. She says giving up her Harley will be hard, but she says losing her restaurant, which she calls her 11th child, would be even harder. So we got an eight top out there. Chicken, shrimp, and burgers are being served up to customers at Chantel's Justin Till in Sanford on this Tuesday afternoon. But while some food is going out, not enough money is coming in. Just to keep them employed, um, to keep the lights on, the gas on. Yeah, I got to bring at least 850. Owner Chantel Williams says they average about $250 a day Monday through Thursday. On Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we see a bulk of what's often during the pandemic has helped us get through. Now with the raise of food prices, it, it's, it's not enough. And she says her pride made it hard to ask for help. Williams is usually the one helping others. I love cooking. I love people. I love motorcycling. And uh, the food and the people here at this restaurant are, are, are a little more. I help a lot more people this way than I do on that motorcycle right now. And so that is why Chantel decided to raffle off her Harley that she rides around town on with her mini me. In 2016, she broke a world record traveling 48 states in 27 days on it. She calls it her stress relief. To give this up almost makes me happy as long as I can keep this. Chantel says it's also about preserving Sanford history. Once part of the black business district, Chantel's is the last black owned business in the downtown area. And so that's another reason that we can't go anywhere, you know. We, we come along with stories that um, I, I know a lot of people look forward to hearing and, and I love sharing. And since she posted on Facebook about the raffle, Chantel has been, has seen rather a little boost in business from customers that are concerned that she could close. Reporting live in Sanford, Jeff Left Coolidge, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Well, we want the best for her as well, so hopefully things will turn around. All right, Jeff, thanks. Many local restaurants are feeling the pinch as prices on everything from food to fuel continue to rise, and that could mean they have to pass the costs on to you, the customer, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, the cost of eating out at full-service restaurants was up nearly 6% in October compared to the same time last year. And prices at limited-service restaurants, like fast food places, were up more than 7% during the same time. That's the biggest 12-month increase they've ever seen, Greg.